Okay, we're going to. Uh, I'll, I'll use use the microphone and then. So good evening. This is a uh, a lightning talk, which uh, means we don't talk too fast, but reasonable speed, uh, on uh, public consultations under the Council ITU Council Working Group on Internet Public Policy, uh, and. Uh, as you might know, the uh, council working groups have chairs and vice chairs, and uh, Wojciech, from uh, our esteemed colleague from Poland, is the chair of the council working group. He's remote, and he'll talk to us in a, in a minute. Uh, Pritam, who many of you know, is from the uh, ITU Secretariat, uh, and does a, a marvelous job in coordinating uh, the council working group, and I'm Nigel Hicks, and I'm one of the uh, vice chairs. But over to Pritam first. the slides on? Ah, okay. Hold on. It's now on? Yeah. Okay. So maybe an easy way to skip the slides is to take a poll. How many of you don't know what the ITU is? Because I think I can, I, I, I see everyone in the room that I know, <laughs> practically. Adam, I have seen you after a while, but I know that you know the ITU. So there's no one here who needs an introduction to the 150-year-old organization and all that, right? I think we are set. You can skip. I can skip. Oh, I can't skip any slides. Oh, OK. This, this slide is good. This is Wojciech. This is Nigel. So this is all. So maybe I'll give you some, some basic. So all this you know. OK. Some basic logistical information. So the next uh, council working group meeting is on Wednesday. So I, I expect to see at least many of you in Geneva at that meeting. And uh, this time there is no open consultation because it was the first one after PP. But then from the following ones, obviously, we'll get into the cycle. So with that, I'll just hand it over to Nigel. So by the way, you know, one person that I need to introduce is the secretary of the group, Ms. Sadhvi. Ms. Sadhvi Saran, who is r remotely following this from Geneva, but she will be the one who will be supporting Wojciech uh, throughout the uh, four-year cycle. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much indeed, uh, Pritam. And uh, when Wojciech uh, comes online, he can interrupt us and uh, he, can, he can say a few words. <coughs> so the purpose of this evening was to perhaps talk to, <coughs> talk to you about what uh, the council working group can do in terms of open consultations, but many of you will have uh, been uh, uh, have experienced some of these before. But I think it's worth saying that uh, it's very we think it's very important indeed that <coughs> once the uh, once the consultation is launched, that as many stakeholders as possible will take part <coughs> take part in the consultation for two reasons. One, because we think it's uh, we think it's quite important that when we come to the uh, work of the council working group and we have an open session with the stakeholders that have submitted views on the topic that they can actually participate and talk about talk about the issues in uh, to the direct governments that will be there and and secondly because we think that these issues are important not just important to have a, a discussion on but they they also form some of the background material, if you like, that then the ITU considers for its, uh, for its different uh, conferences. So, I mean, we recognize, of course, that the actual council working group is, is a closed uh, council working group. Most of the council working groups under the ITU uh, have sector members as well that come along. So next week, for example, well, there's, this week there's council working groups taking place, but next week uh, there's two pertinent council working groups in relation to the work we're doing here at the IGF. Uh, we have on the uh, on the Tuesday we have the WISIS uh, and Sustainable Development Goals Council Working Group, which will consider a number of issues that's open to stakeholders and will consider a number of issues in relation to moving forward on the WISIS Plus Twenty review process, we'll look at some of the action lines that the, uh, the ITU is, is responsible for, and we'll look forward to the, uh, to the WISIS forum, which is taking place uh, uh, next May. And as, you, as many of you know, the WISIS forum 
uh, and some of you might have been in a session earlier that where it was being discussed, not just the WISIS forum, but the WISIS plus 20 review process. And the WISIS forum next April will have a substantive, sorry, next May will have a substantive discussion on the WISIS plus 20 uh, review process. The Internet Public Policy Working Group will take place on the, on, on the Wednesday. And at this meeting, proposals will be considered for the next open public consultation. So as, as Preetam mentioned, we, we've got out a sequence, if you like, to an extent in that we haven't had a public uh, consultation, I think, since 2000 and before the, uh, before the plenipotentiary last year. And of course, before the plenipotentiary last year, there were some issues with COVID and other things. So we're, we're behind the curve a bit in terms of uh, public consultations. But uh, uh, there has been a, a call for uh, proposals for different, air, different subjects of public consultations. And I can tell you that a number of proposals have been made by a whole range of different countries. Uh, we were reading them earlier. And it's really great to see that a number of member states, including Russia, Egypt, Morocco, the US, Canada, sorry, the United Kingdom, Canada, and a whole range of, of, of countries have put forward uh, proposals for open consultation topics. These will be discussed uh, next week, and depending on, uh, hopefully, one one will be chosen, and then there will be a call for uh, there will be a call for submissions or for comments on this public consultation, and that will take place uh, what towards the end of October, you know, fairly soon after the council working group, and then the next council working group is taking place in January 2024. And part of that consultation, part of that council working group will be an open consultation, will be a half day or two thirds of a day of open consultation where all the people that put in proposals will be invited to make comments on their, uh, on their submissions. So we hope that will be a, a, a fairly open uh, process. Well, it'll be a very open process where we can uh, uh, discuss some of the issues. What check is here? So can I introduce Wojciech, and then I'll, I'll say a few words after he has uh, said a few words. Wojciech, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear very well. well can you hear me? Go for it, Thank sir. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nigel. Thank you very much, Pridan, for your excellent presentation and, and uh, warm welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, my real pleasure to hear, be here with you uh, online, not in person, but, but uh, as the chair of the Council Working Group on Internet, I'm delighted to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you who joined us together um, in person or in online. And um, the Internet, as we all know, has become an integral part of our lives and shaping the way we communicate. Uh, work and even govern ourselves. We gather today here in the recognition of the fact that addressing public policy issues is key to building a safe, trusted and inclusive digital ecosystem. The, the Council Working Group on Internet, as established by ITU, plays a vital part in driving the global discussions around, uh, uh, and around these issues. And in this role, a key function is to foster meaningful engagement with all stakeholders, with you, and in order to seek input from you that can inform the work of ITU, its members, and the global digital community. Um, in a few moments, uh, we will continue our discussion. I'm happy that uh, Nigel, one of our vices, uh, can give you more um, examples and uh, answers to your question. We are here to engage with you, the global internet community, and we really count on your expertise and your participation in the work of our Council Working Group. I invite you all to participate in the open consultations process. We are available for you and to answer any of your questions here, not only today, but at any time over email. You can also join us online for consultations and share what you know and what works best. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your interest. I will not uh, take your time right now. The time is yours. You can ask questions, and we'll be happy to provide answers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Wojciech. Uh, right. Thank you, thank you very much in, 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 indeed for that. So I just wanted to uh, clarify one thing and actually say something which is quite innovative 
Not that uh, I often say innovative things, but so what, what, uh, what we'd like to do in, in terms of the council working group and what the ITU secretariat would like to do is widen the participation, participation and the input into these open public uh, consultations. And we recognize that obviously not everyone can come to Geneva in January for the next meeting and not everyone can necessarily participate online for these meetings. So what we're going to do as well is depending on the topics uh, that are suggested for the open consultation and what member states think of the topics, we'll also have open discussions on some of these topics at uh, the WISIS forum that's taking place in, uh, in May next year and at the IGF in, uh, in 2024, which as you know is being hosted by Saudi Arabia. So there'll be additional inputs, which I think will then which will reach a, a, a wider range of stakeholders. So we think this is a, uh, you know, a fairly positive, uh, positive innovation, which will ho hopefully sort of, you know, as I say, widen the stakeholder base for these, uh, these topics. I mean, just to give you a, uh, a flavor for some of the topics that have uh, taken place before, and I think it's on one of the slides, so. Uh, 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 the one before, thank you. So if you look at the uh, uh, previous topics, uh, those are some of the issues that have been uh, discussed before in the open public consultations. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no harm. Uh, some uh, governments or some stakeholders might want similar topics to be uh, proposed again. And in the, in the, in the working group, uh, in the council working group next, uh, next week, we'll be looking at proposals on such issues as international domain names, universal acceptance, connectivity issues, and the, the WISIS process itself. So there'll be a number of uh, issues uh, uh, under, under, under discussion. And uh, as I said, those are the, uh, name, those are the topics that we've uh, had before. So really that's all we've got to say. It's, it's, it's really a, you know, a, a two-fold message. One message is that we want as many people to take part in these consultations as possible. Uh, they're gonna be public, they're gonna be open to anyone to take part, not just sector members, but anyone to take part. And secondly, in that the, we'll be discussing the public consultations, not just at the ITU Council Working Group, but at the WISIS Forum, well, this is the proposal, obviously it has to be agreed at the WISIS Forum and at the UNIGF itself. Any, uh, any questions, any comments? Any objections? Any, uh, or do you just want to go for a drink? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Marco, please. In, you, you, you ought to introduce yourself for the record, as they say. Well, Nigel, Nigel already told, told me you that I'm Marco. I work for the Dutch government. I'm an active participant in ITU, also in the Council Working Group on the Internet. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for hosting this session and, and especially given to host the session at an open forum since the council working group is, is member states only. Uh, and that's also where my question uh, leads to. Uh, as much as I appreciate the fact that we can have open consultations and hear from stakeholders, uh, what I would like to ask you as a vice chair or Wojciech if he's still online is how do you envision integrating the discussions within the Council Working Group Internet, that of course are very important, also within the context of ITU, with the broader spectrum of discussions that are taking place alongside the same topics that we have been discussing and probably will be discussing, such as in the IGF and the various other UN processes. How do you see that, that, that bridge being built from Council Working Group as a members, ITU member states forum to all the other discussions that we have. Thank, thank you very much, um, Marco. Wojciech, do you want to uh, answer that first? Yes, I could intervene for a minute. Thank you, Marco, for this very good question. And, uh, indeed, we are here to build the bridges. And thank you for um, highlighting this broader picture we will definitely seek some uh, solutions to not only to cooperate with other council working groups, um, for example, the council working group on WISIS, but also to bring our insight and, and um, uh, cooperation with other uh, UN bodies. 
Thank you. Nigel, would you like to add? Well, yeah, I, I, I just, just, and Pritam, do you want to say something first? No, no. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this, this man is far too modest. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's a very good question, Marco. And, you know, we, we, let, let's not pretend we're with friends here. I mean, the, the issue of whether the council working group should be open to uh, all sector members or, or, or just member states is an issue that's been debated. It was debated at plenipotentiary uh, last year. It's been debated on previous occasions. And different member states have different views, which we obviously respect. What we want to try and do in the Council Working Group is to ensure that we have an open discussion when the stakeholders are present to discuss the open consultation issues, that we have a, as intensive discussion and a broader discussion as possible. So when we meet as member states, we can reflect those views of the stakeholders on, on, those, particular, on those particular topics. Perhaps not a perfect situation, in terms of openness and transparency, but it, it, we want to do the best we can, and that's why we're here this evening. That's why we're reaching out this evening in terms of this public consultation. But Michael. Michael Nelson with the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, former member of the MAG, all-purpose policy wonk, uh, work in Washington, D.C. Um, I learned in Washington that you should never take the last question and I think I may be the last question. And the question is to whoever of the three of you is brave enough to try to answer my question. It's been a few months since the plenipotentiary gave new leaders, voted on new leaders for the ITU. One year, exactly one year. Yeah. Exactly 12 months. So yeah. are the new leaders going to change the emphasis or would, to put another way, Will the new leaders get really excited if the working group tackles certain issues? or And, and will the style of the working group change? Or is, there, is there going to be more urgency, less urgency? So speculate on how your new bosses are going to shape this. <coughs> so and if none of you are brave enough to answer the last question. Michael, we'd always answer a question from you. And uh, we would expect a, uh, a question like that. Wojciech. Yes, I'm happy to share with you that we will have the Deputy Secretary General, Thomas Lamanauskas, with us uh, during the opening of the first Council Working Group meeting in this new cycle. So Thomas uh, will definitely present his um, views and vision of uh, cooperation within this Council Working Group. And we as chairs, we are in the hands of the of the administrations, of the participants of the, of the discussions. So definitely we'll follow the discussion and uh, contributions uh, made by administrations. So that is also why we reached out to you today, uh, tonight, uh, to know more about your expectations and uh, what would you expect from us as, as the chair and vice chairs. If you'd like to any, add anything to this, Nigel, the floor is yours. Freedom, do you want to? You know, I think the chair said it. I mean, um, it's, it, it's, you know, it was a marvelous plenipotentiary. We, we have new leadership. We'll obviously have a great discussion next week. And I, I ought to have mentioned that as well as discussing the, uh, the proposals for open consultation topics, we'll also be discussing the, the ITU work on, on the resolutions, uh, you know, if I mention resolutions 101 and 102 and 133, if I mention them in polite company, people would wonder what we were talking about. But with this rather nerdy group here, <laughs> I'm being rude now. <laughs> no, I'm not. But you know that some of the uh, IT resolutions touch on internet-related issues. And at the Council Working Group uh, next Wednesday, the ITU Secretariat gives a report on some of the discussions that have taken place under, under those issues. And we also probably, if we have time at the Council Working Group next week, we'll also probably reflect on some of the broader issues taking place, Michael. And you're absolutely right. There's obviously important issues taking place in the overall community, and we'll hopefully be able to reflect on some of those internet uh, issues. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, just going to Marco's previous question also on how can we foster collaboration with uh, some of the other discussions. 
So, uh, you know, uh, for example, uh, the IGF, of course, uh, the rules are what they are, which is what, uh, what is defined in 102, but that doesn't preclude, say, Japan from, uh, you know, talking about what happened at the IGF and, you know, the priorities and the conversations. Uh, if, uh, you know, Brazil is hosting the G20 next year, and that doesn't stop them from talking about it. So any of these conversations that are happening in other forums, uh, we can find uh, a host or a proxy that can bring the conversation, proxy is not the right word, but someone that can bring the conversation to the, uh, uh, to the CWG. And if there is a topic that merits further attention, that can be put out for open consultation. You know, that's, that's, these are the you know, rules that we are working with, but I'm sure within these rules we can find an optimal solution or you know, close to an optimal solution. Thank you very much. So I, I, I think we can finish there unless there's any other uh, questions. I mean, we, uh, uh, those that are in Geneva next week, we really look forward to, uh, uh, look forward to seeing everyone. And uh, thank you to those, well, thank you to everyone that's come. Thank you to those governments that have put forward uh, proposals for this uh, meeting next week. And, uh, and we'll be reporting back uh, at, a, at a further IGF in this spirit. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. And thanks, Wojciech.